Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks DVD review. Now the DVD that we've got today um, I've purchased from Video Scene, uh, which is based in Leatherham near Blackpool. Um, now this particular one it's, it's based on Crew um, but it isn't like a modern day one, it's a bit of a back in the day. Um, now as some of you may have seen on my YouTube channel um, I do do footage at Cruise Station from time to time. Um, I haven't been over there recently, but I am planning on doing that in the new year, um, as I'm hoping to get my GoPro in operation, um, as I've got the Hero 4 Silver. Um, so I'm hoping to take it to the station and do some filming, uh, now that I've got a few more accessories for it. So anyway, let's have a look at what DVD we've got today then. Okay, so as you can see today, we have got the Rails Around Crew DVD and it's between the years 1989 to 1990. Um, so this was um, the year after I was born in 88 um, and then it led up to the 1990s. So as you can see, it's part of the Rail Rover UK series. So it says here, a look at the trains which served crew in 1989 and 1990. So from the WCML, which is the West Coast Main Line, Class 85s, 86s, 87s and 90s, uh, through to Class 31s and 37s on passenger trains. Um, it also has Class 20s and 58s on coal trains and many other locomotive moves around the station. Um, and it's also saying that crew has always been rich in variety and this DVD looks at two fascinating years from 25 years ago. It's a DVD video, um, so it's not Blu-ray, and it's number four in the Rail Rover UK series. So if we just open it up, you can see that we've got a very nice disc in there, um, with a Class 37 hauling a uh, rake of coaches. Now I believe these are the Intercity ones, um, are they called the Blue and Grey, or is it the Mark IIs? Well, I can't rightly remember, but if you do know, please leave your comments below. Um, I have actually seen these in the Batman catalogue, so that's how I recognise the colour of them. Um, but the DVD is 70 minutes long. Um, copyright of Rail Rover UK 2015. And obviously they produced it alongside the video scene, as you can see just there. So it is a quite detailed disc inside there. So we'll just close that up a minute. So if we take a look at the back now, um, we can... See, we've got a bit more information about the disc. Um, so we can see what language it's in, the image format, the region, running time and classification. Um, so obviously we've got a bit of a longer description on the back of here, as well as what's also available. Um, apologies about the glare from the front window this morning. I've tried to set the camcorder up the best I can um, with having the living room lights on as well. So I'm just trying to get in a position that doesn't cause too much glare. Um, so I'll say again, on the bottom here we've got um, the information again regarding how long the DVD runs for, as well as the videoscene.co.uk website. Now we'll take a look at the description and just see what it says. So the fourth title in the Rail Rover series goes back to 1989 and 1990 and features the popular location of Crew. Um, during this time, the Class 90s were new and worked on the West Coast Main Line alongside 87s, 86s and 85s. Uh, various locos are featured on different duties including mail vans and freight. Other passenger trains included 37 fours to Cardiff. So at this time there were two diagrams on weekdays from Cardiff to Liverpool and Manchester and 37s 426 to 431 from the PCFA pool were used. Now. I'm not entirely sure what PCFA stands for, but if you do know, do know please leave your comments below. Um, Blue Class 31s were also used on DMU replacements to Derby. So the freight scene is fascinating with pairs of 20s and 58s on coal trains. 31s, 37s and 47s hauling GUVs or GUVs and with a diesel depot adjacent, many light loco moves are recorded. And there's also some celebrity locomotives. Um, these include NSE 86401, Class 31 97204 31970, 
in the railway technical services livery. Um, an accident damaged 47522 and 47500 in GW Green. 08907 in black. 87101 in blue. Class 81's in their final days. Um, the Manchester Pullman stock. Plus brand new class 321's and an incredible variety of liveries on both locos and coaches. So, as you can see today, it says here, the crew of today is nothing like this, and besides the class 90s, Mark 3s and DVTs, which are currently working in East Anglia, plus one or two others, every loco coach wagon on this DVD has been scrapped, preserved, or is running in Bulgaria. Now, the class 58s, I think they were shipped abroad, if I remember rightly. Um, and I don't know whether any EWS or EW and S ones still survive to this day. But if you do know if they, the EWS or EW and S ones in particular do survive, please leave your comments below. Um, I've actually got a Helgen model in the loft of one, um, but I've never ever seen one at Preserved Railway or anything like that. But like I say, if you can tell me where they're located, please leave your comments below. And I will get back to you. So, that's it basically. The Rails Around Crew. 1989 to 1990 DVD from Video Scene.